हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई एम बार गुप्ता योर ट्यूटर एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो नंबर फोर इन आर इंटरमीडिएट किट कोर्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स बेस्ड नोड एम्स यू एंड आर ओन विस्ट्री बोर्ड हाउ टू प्रोग्राम इट एंड वॉट चेंजेस डू यू नीड टू मेक इन योर आर्डिनो आई डी ई सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन योर आर्डिनो आई डी ई एंड ओपन द प्रेफरेंसिस मेन्यू इन द फाइल ऑप्शन now you need to copy and paste the given link in the additional boards manager url once you copy and paste the uh, given link then go to the tools menu there open boards and board manager search for the esp8266 board you will get this option from esp8266 by community install it your installation may take a little while Select the Node MCU 1.0 in the ESP 266 menu. Select the connected Node MCU board to. For here, in my case, Node MCU is connected to COM port 4. Now we are uh, testing the Blink code for trial. So after uploading, the built-in LED on the Node MCU blinking. Now let's. change the code a little and reduce the delay to 100 milliseconds and upload the code once again to see the change in blinking speed of the led as you can see the blinking led is much faster right now now let's start to upload the code to our wishty development board after connecting the micro usb cable we are ready to program it we'll be uploading the same blink code just press the flash button that's this red button in the middle and once you start connecting press the bottom button that's the reset button once you press the reset button you will be able to see that your code has started to upload now once the code is uploaded press the reset button again and here you go your inbuilt led on the module starts to blink now let's say we need to blink the different led that is connected to the pin number 12 so what do we do now we just simply change the led built in to pin 12 and upload the code like we previously did by initially pressing the flash button and bringing the board to boot mode and once the board is in boot mode and your ide says connecting press the reset button as you can see uh, we have started to upload the code now Now once the code is uploaded you need to press the reset button and here you go our led connected to the pin 12 is blinking on the board itself thanks students this was it for the video number 4 series tutorial we'll meet next time with another tutorial video